here at the Goodwill. Let's see what they've got. All right, so it is early morning and they are packed to the brim with people here. Or at least people paying for stuff. Ooh, Need for Speed Underground. Used to love this game. Never played it on the GameCube though. And that's a good sign. Hopefully there are more GameCube games. Huh, Dragon Ball Z. Season 1. You couldn't ever really get into the show, but if the price is right, you might snag it. What do I got here? This is one. Should I most likely? If I can get it out. It is destroyed. This is a game I actually wouldn't mind picking up. It's a balls to the wall action game. Um, Monster High, Ghoul Spirit, and the Wii. Oh yeah. Great game. I used to play it on the PS2. Strike Force Bowling. Nice bowling game on the GameCube here. Still hoping for something big. It's like we're teetering on the edge of that. Cowboy up. Super Southern. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Full screen. <laughs> I know that when I see it. The widescreen was in a silver case. Diary of a Single Mom. That sounds really boring. Wheels. These games are fun. I might snag it for 69 cents. Early Kurt Russell Disney film. Hmm. All right. Well, not too bad. Let's see what we got here. All right. So here I am at the Smithfield Outdoor Flea Market here, and it's a chilly day. It's in the 40s. It's overcast and kind of crappy out. So I don't expect many people to have anything out, or much out, I should say. As you can see, people are still here to make a buck. Understandably, it's hard out here. And uh, let's see what we can find. I don't see any movies thus far. So. And as you can see, really not much going on today. So this may have been a wasted stop, but uh, I'm gonna be diligent, make sure I don't miss anything. All right, so they ain't got shit, but we're gonna check. It's cold as fuck out here, so we're gonna check the yard sale tables and call it. As you can see, it's pretty desolate even here, too, so excuse me. Oh, we got some movies here, so let's see.
seem like I'm looking since I'm not uncovering all of these, but I've seen these movies so often that I can tell what they are just by the tops of them. So, nothing here. Alright. Well, as you can see, defeated once again. I'm running out of space on my phone. And running out of patience because I don't think we're going to find anything today. something called fur. <sighs> well, getting to the end of the yard sales here, and this pretty much sums up the type of stuff that's here today. Just piles of junk, electronics, and things that no one wants. At least no one should buy. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna make it to the end of here, and I'm gonna get out of here empty-handed which doesn't happen often if it was a little nicer out it'd be a different story but it is what it is that's gonna do it for the flea market I've got a couple other stops I could hit up to hopefully find something today so cheer all right so I came on inside which I really haven't shown you guys much of yet but I did find this booth that has some games and some movies and very loud copyrighted music playing Cyborg 3, that's right. There are three Cyborg films. Jean-Claude Van Damme's Cyborg, Angelina Jolie and Jack Palance in Cyborg 2, and apparently Cyborg 3. Number 3 in Jean-Claude Van Damme's Cyborg trilogy. <laughs> so I just got out of the booth and I heard a very familiar sound. And that's a jingle all the way. My favorite Christmas movie. At least one of them. <laughs> Nostalgically, love that movie. One of the best Christmas movies ever made. I love it. That and Scrooged. Scrooged. I love to death. But yeah, jingle all the way, all the way, baby. So I did end up picking this up, War of the Arrows. Like I said, a South Korean war action film. Uh, that stars this guy who shoots arrows at people into their faces. And um, I talked him down from four to two because it has some weird substance on it. Uh, possibly urine. So I talked her down from four bucks to two bucks, and it's a rental. So I just gotta clean it up, maybe even switch out the case, because, yeah, I don't know. Alright. Running to the thrift shop. Carolina Thrift. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see what they've got. Alright, so go, first thing first, I hit up the case here, and, um, Definitely buying a few Blu-rays. Now, these are $3.99 a pop, so they're not the cheapest, but I need Unfriended. If you saw my review for Unfriended, you know I need this in the collection. And now to look at the movies. And as usual, it's going to be difficult to uh, do this with only two hands, or one hand, technically. Ooh, some Blu-rays down there that they... Oh, man. Well, nothing that I want, so... I'm gonna do, what I'll do is a quick overview. So, wind. Like, what the hell is this? I had to look this up. Matthew Modine. Looks like some sort of adventure flick. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll just go down like this. Underground Railroad. I like history channel stuff. I'll go check that. Hickok. Hickok. Luke Hemsworth. He's definitely one of the brothers. <laughs> Let me see if you plug me in. Wow. Oh. 
Butterfingers, man. ACDC. Not the biggest fan, but I know someone who is. Wow, that is quite the addition. Sisterhood of Traveling Pants. Wow. It's a monster. Shakira. I used to have the most insane crush on Shakira. She helped me become a man. sci-fi channel movie yeah probably gonna buy that now the DVDs here are two a piece oh this is supremely out of print so hopefully that's in good shape because that will be good fodder to sell off and get some stuff that I actually want billboard dad King Ashley Olsen stuff these actually fetch a little bit on on eBay sometimes Depends on which ones. The younger they are, the more they go for. I, and I don't want to contemplate what that what that means <laughs> because it kind of creeps me out. Like, who's watching those? Probably grown ass men that are in their underwear and in their mother's basement. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna do down here. Yeah. So they have a lot of cool stuff. They usually do. You know, I come here once a month or so, and usually surprised with all the things. Oh, why, hello. These are not easy to find. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not priced, then that means it's buck 99. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Kung Pao. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, out-of-print stuff. It's good to see. All right, I'm going to do some digging. What I'll do is periodically show you guys what's going on here as I uncover more and more. And don't see a shit there. A bunch of Bollywood. Don't see that too often, but I mean, I don't have time to look up what's worth picking up and what's not. Wait, whoa, it's crying a while too. Interesting. I'm to check that out. Of those, you don't do it. Nothing you need to do is probably look that one up. Back in the wall top. Isn't this that 90s, yeah, Loch Ness Monster movie? Hmm. These, if they were a buck a piece, I would, I would pick that up, but they're two bucks. Two bucks adds up quickly. Twice as quickly as one dollar movies. Digging around down here, really not seeing too much. Um, again, a lot of, a lot of. Movies. Wish I knew which of the action movies are the ones at least worth picking up. Ooh. There's another. I recognize that guy. What's his name? It doesn't say. But I know that guy. Can't take any like risks on them because I'm either gonna love it or hate it. I feel like <laughs> when it comes to Bollywood, still nothing too exciting. Uh, Fantastic Four on Blu-ray, sealed. I do have that one. I do like that one. Oh boy, it's like Airbud. Shit. I hate that shit. I hate it so much. Ooh. Archive collection. I think I have this though. I think I have that. I'm gonna have to double check. Well, I think I'm gonna pick it up regardless because it's a brand new and sealed um, archive collection. Archive. It's pretty sweet. I'm fumbling 
hanging all over the place, but. Yeah. Got some hard shit playing right now, bro. Strangers on a train in North the Northwest. Couple Hitchcock. You have, of course. Strangers on a Train is actually not in the big box set, but I do have it separate on a DVD. Breakfast Tiffany's, Synecdoche, 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 New York. <laughs> Always gets me. Um, two for Texas. Is this another archive? Yeah. Another archive. Two for Texas. Never even heard of this one. Rob Hardy? Is that the guy who did uh, Wicker Man? I was thinking of someone else. Cool. I will take it. The Aha Movement. Then uh, the band Aha. <laughs> Much more interesting. James Burry. Uh. I work at a bookstore. I don't want to see that name. Pastime. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Interesting. I've never heard of that. It looked like Michael Jordan, actually, for a second. I gotta check this out. Okay, so religious DVDs never cease to amaze. This is gospel mime. This is gospel mine and with that I think that's gonna do it oh, oh, pink fairy. look at that one look at that one in a second greatest story ever told still need that not too yep that's gonna be about it so I'll show you guys what I'm getting all right so this is what I'm coming away with at Carolina thrift I'll go into more detail you know at the end of the video um, and of course I'm gonna check out the VHS right now. But before I do, I'm gonna look on the opposite side here. Usually this is all kids, but you never know, so it's always worth checking. Um, I never really find anything on the side, but you know me. I have to be diligent. Sticks and stones, Indiana Jones bonus material. Ernest Sleeps Christmas. Oh, I love this movie. Of course I had it. That needs a Blu-ray release, man. Scared Stupid got one. Of course, it's out of print now, and to my utter dismay. Um, I'm not here much over here. I do need a copy of Baby's Day Out still. You'd think that one wouldn't be too hard to find. It's not out of print, but it's just one of those that's just hard to come across in good condition. Alright, Anthony Korn, it's like the story of Islam, yeah. I do have that one. Pretty cool to see, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I uh, don't see anything over here. Just kidding. Um, I've got one more side of kids' movies here. You know, I love my animated stuff, so... Let's see if they have anything. Another Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, Toil and Trouble. I used to actually watch this one. Um, I was a fan of their old VHS, straight to VHS stuff, like the sleuth ones that they kind of did, like the Sherlock Holmesy kind of ones. Those were fun, um, kind of Indiana Jonesy in their own way, but that's pretty funny to see. Definitely brings back memories. Miracle Worker. Huh. I'm always tempted to pick up these Disney live live action films. That's cool. Think. Oof. I don't know if I have this. I might have to snag that one. Harlem Globetrotters, Jesus. The ever Scooby Doo has been with every single living entity in entertainment, in a film. Um, okay. Yeah. Not really seeing much else here. That'll do. Here we are at the VHS. I'm not expecting much. It actually looks like they've slimmed down on the VHSs. Crocodile Dundee. And, you know, 
A lot of good films here, but nothing that I need on VHS except for maybe Die Hard. This film. I might have to snack the VHS. It's in really good shape, too. Ah, I fucking love this movie. It's one of my favorites. You guys know that. I've talked about it before. They also have Die Hard 2. I'm gonna buy both. Die Hard 3? No. And, oh, they just got some of my favorites. I really shouldn't. My rule when it comes to VHS is to only buy things that are not on DVD or Blu-ray. I'm in the process of breaking that rule. The Terminator. Oh. go down this road, man. I can't go down this road. First world problems. Look at that. Just nature, baby. Alright, let me decide if I'm picking up these. Just these two, two of these films are in my top 15. You know? So, uh, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna buy the Die Hard. I'm getting it. Just the Die Hard, though. I can't go crazy with the Total Recall and Die Hard 2. Just, it's one of my favorite films of all time. I must own. Alright, so that was Carolina Thrift. I just heard some bad news that they're going to be closing their store, but in place of it is going to be another thrift shop. So it's just like changing companies or something, I suppose. Um, so I feel bad for the people that work there, but at least I'll still get to get some cheap movies from uh, the new thrift store that replaces it. I'm going to go to a new shop that I've never showed you guys, shown you guys on camera. Um, the owner, Hugo, I'm, I'm cool with. Uh, he's a really, really cool dude. So I'm going to go check out his shop. I'm sure he'll let me film a little bit and see if they have anything cool. It's been months since I've been there. So on to the next. All right, so I am here outside of Top Pawn, and I'm about to go in and see what they have. Check out my boy Hugo, hopefully he's here. And I'm just gonna give you a, a shot of the front here. So definitely check this place out. Like I said, it's called Top Pawn here in Raleigh, next to the McDonald's and Burger King and the this place. So yeah, come check it out. But for the, for the, the, see the, let's see what they have. All right, so this is Top Pawn, or this is, this, you know, their movie collection here. And um, so they used to have a, quite a bit more, but as time goes on, uh, people move closer and closer to streaming. So there's really not too much here. Um, but I am going to still take a look. There are some Blu-rays, so I'm looking forward to taking a peek at those. This guy is uh, awesome, the owner here, uh, his name is Hugo, and he has always hooked me up and always been really cool to chat with and everything, so check this place out if you're in the Raleigh area. It's called Top Pawn. So let's go over to the Blu-rays. And let's see what we've got. Hugo, I always ask this, how much are your Blu-rays again? Uh, Three dollars. <laughs> Three, that's right, thank you, man. <laughs> I go to too many places to be able to keep track of everyone. So three dollar Blu-rays, Fright Night Two. I mean, I, you know, this is the the remake of this, the remake sequel. That's what it is. I'm kind of interested, but um, Star Trek Into Darkness. I do need From Beyond, or Beyond, <laughs> not From Beyond. It's just called Beyond. Not seeing anything, even pole fillers. I'm not really seeing. Uh, Hot fuzz on HD DVD. This looks fun. What's this? Heath Memory. Amy Smart. I like Amy Smart. Who directed this? Mike Payon. Yeah, it looks kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe. Leave that one ajar. Just be for Vendetta HD DVD. God, I love saying that. HD DVD. HD DVD. HD DVD. Right down here. Oh, we got some PS3. War in Sports. That's America. And car racing. That's America. This is the most American set of PS3 games I've ever seen in my life. 
Call of Duty, Battlefield, UFC, Guitar Hero, Batman, <laughs> Need for Speed, and World Series Poker. Like, can you get any more American? No, this one is the least American. Superman vs. the Elite. I wish this wasn't really f***ed up, because I'd buy that. I'm always on the hunt for the DC animated stuff. Ip Man 3. I don't know if I have Ip Man 3. This one I do have. Yeah. I do need Trader on Mars, or Trader 2 Mars, whatever it's called. Oh, erotic thriller kind of shit. Not my thing. Oh god! <laughs> Throwing shit around. Let's move some stuff out of the way. Got some in the back. Another copy of Fright Night, okay. Over rounds 2. Fuck. Both of those goddamn movies. I hate both of them. Still give the others a try. They're action films and they stand apart from one another, but still. Don't be afraid of the dark. I didn't hate this movie. Didn't hate it. Maybe. Okay. Well, huh. A few maybes. Let's see. And of course, as I was double checking the movies here, Star Trek Beyond. We need it. All right, so I did end up picking up this Star Trek Beyond, a uh, little World War II in HD. This is kind of cool, and it's sealed. It was a dollar, and a uh, couple unexpected finds here. <laughs> He's had these sitting on the shelf for years, and so I bugged him. I was like, "You gonna sell those to me yet?" He was uh, always wanting to sell them in a in a bundle. So I picked up Destination Earth Star, which is one I don't have. It's not a very good game. I remember bombing it back in the day. And Dig Dug 2, which is a very good game. So give me all of this right here for six bucks. So you can't beat that. So shout out to Hugo and shout out to Top Pawn here in Raleigh. Look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Buy, sell, compra, venta. Come check out Top Pawn. All right, so here I am at the Raleigh Rescue Mission. Haven't been to this place in quite some time. Um, I used to frequent it when I worked at the old bookstore at McKay. But uh, we'll see what they have. Usually they have a good amount of DVDs, Blu-rays, stuff like that. So we'll take a look, and they're usually cheap, buck or two. So, yeah. Also, there is this place right there called Alpaca that has the most bomb-ass yucca fries you could ever imagine. Most of you probably don't even know what yucca is, but if you ever have a chance to have yucca fries, try it because it's amazing. I might have to get them. It's probably the only thing I can eat at that place because it is a chicken place, but they do have yucca fries. I might have to splurge. But for now, let's see what the Raleigh, whoa, there we are. Let's see what the Raleigh Rescue Mission has to offer. Alright, so this is the place. I'm not even going to ask to film because f*** it. These are farther, far enough away from the registers and stuff, so let's see what they have. I'm trying to be somewhat discreet. I'm not too worried about it. Boondocks, that's a show that I need to get into, man. It's totally my thing. River Feud. Yeah. This looks like Western schlock. Some VHS down there. Tai Chi. Tai Chi, is that the Jet Li? Oh no, that's a guy doing Tai Chi. There's a Jet Li movie, I believe, called Tai Chi. I know there's one called Tai Chi Masters, but... Let me see. Somebody who works here, gotta be on the low. On this track. Fast and the Furious ripoff. It's so funny how Fast and the Furious spawned all these ripoffs. Star 80. I have to look that one up. The Shadow Effect. Weird. More Western. VCI puts out a lot of obscure stuff. And baby's crying. Poor thing. Woe is they. Mm. Ooh, dark half. That's a good one. I do have that. That's pretty cool to see. I don't know if it's out of print. 
I'll have to double check on that, because you know me. Can't leave an out of print movie behind. Whether it's to sell, to trade, or whatevsies. Or to just keep a second copy of, because I'm insane. No, I very, very seldom keep second copies of things. It has to be a very cool movie, or one of my favorites, or something like that. The Long Ride Home. Okay, okay. Don't send any movies down there. Alright, well, that's actually going to do it. So, yeah, nothing here. Um, probably going to pick up the Star 80, which is out of print. Don't know much about it, but Bob Fosse directed. And Dark Hat, I'll pick this up. Maybe find somebody who needs it, so. Cool. Shout out to Raleigh Rescue Mission. You know what's even better than $1 movies? <sighs> Almost got hit by a car. Free movies. They, uh, I walked up and had these two movies and they said, Merry Christmas. And they handed them to me and I said, no. And they were like, yes. <laughs> I was like, no. They were like, yeah. <laughs> and so I got two free movies. On to the next. All right, so I'm going to go into Alpaca and see and ask a couple annoying dietary questions and see if I could eat their yucca fries. So we shall see. I'm excited, but I'm probably going to be let down. Good news. I could eat their yucca fries, which are right here. And I have some lime and jalapeno sauce and ketchup. And I'm about to go to town on these bad boys. Yay. So I restricted myself to a, a regular size yucca fries here. Let me show you what they look like because they are delicious. Drum roll, please. <laughs> they are gorgeous. So yucca is a, a root vegetable, um, not unlike potato, but these, when cooked right, they come out super crispy, super delicious, and more dense than, uh, than french fries and here i am getting all anyway i'm about to eat these bad boys and probably call it a day all right so that is gonna do it for today's thrifting episode wasn't a crazy successful day but i did find some cool things and i'm gonna show you those right now also i wanted to let you guys know anytime you see me pick up something that i'm interested in in one of these videos and i don't end up buying it that is most likely due to the fact that it's destroyed you know the disc is scratched up beyond repair or some other circumstance where the disc isn't even in the case or something like that. So I just want you guys to know that, you know, some of the things that I pick up in this video are, um, are beat to hell once I check them and I just can't buy them. So yeah, let's check out what we got. All right. So first up, we've got focus, 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 focus. Thank you. War of the Arrows. Uh, this is a South Korean action film that I've been wanting to see for quite some time, believe it or not. Years and years, actually, when I was really getting into South Korean film. Uh, about a decade ago now. Anyway, this is, like I said, an, uh, an archery-based action flick, action war flick. So, really excited to watch this. Kim Tae-sung. I don't know what else he's done, but uh, looking forward to this one. Next up is Unfriended. I was so glad to find this, and I did drop more money than usual on this. Um, I spent four bucks on it. Usually, I spend around two, three for Blu-rays, but... For Unfriended, you guys know how much I love this video, this film, if you saw my video on it. And so I had to pick up Unfriended. Really want to track down Dark Web because I like that one even more than Unfriended. So, awesome to find this. Yes, I did pick up that Die Hard VHS. It's in really remarkable shape. So, couldn't let this stay on the shelf. I got to get that stupid tag off of it there. But, um, but yeah, Die Hard on VHS. What, what else do I have to say? The Dark Half. Now, the cool, surprising thing about this one is I didn't even own this. I didn't own The Dark Half until I found it at that pawn shop. I, I picked it up because I hadn't seen this cover and I thought it was out of print, which it is out of print, um, but I didn't own it on DVD or Blu-ray, so now I do. George Romero, Stephen King, Timothy Hutton, The Dark Half. Great, weird Stephen King flick. Awesome stuff. Star Trek Beyond. This one I almost missed out on because I looked over it the first time. You guys were probably shouting at the screen. It's right there. It's right there. Uh, but I did go back and, and sort of cover my ground again, which I usually do just in case I don't, you know, I miss something. Because when you're talking and, and making a video, you know, you sometimes overlook things. But yeah, Star Trek Beyond, that rounds out my Star Trek, um, you know, new Star Trek trilogy. Wise Guys, I did not own this, so I am keeping this in the collection, the Archive Collection, Wise Guys. This is Danny DeVito, Joe Piscopo, and Brian De Palma directed. So how can you go wrong? You can't. 
wise guys. Finally picked this one up. This film, I remember when this film was extremely out of print and hard to find. I mean, hundred, like, I remember this was going for like 60 to a hundred dollars on eBay. So that, it's just insane. But I finally picked up Last of the Dog Men. It has gotten back into print, I guess, or people just don't care anymore. I don't know. It's worth nothing, but it's a film I've always wanted to see. So Last of the Dog Men, Tom Berenger, Barbara Hershey TV film. Why not? Had to pick it up. Two for Texas. Now, this is one that I might end up selling off uh, just because I, I don't know, I've read a little bit about it. It doesn't really seem, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem too great. I do like the cast. I like Tom, or uh, Rob Hardy. In the video, I mentioned if I, <laughs> I thought he was the director of Wicker Man, but he's not. He's the director, Australian director of things like Thirst, an old horror film. So I might keep it in the collection for that just to give it a whirl, but uh, not really sure at this point. But still pretty cool to find two brand new archive collections at a pawn shop or a thrift shop in this case. Uh, Star 80, another one that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep, but it is out of print. I want to do a little bit of reading about it. Don't know much about it. I, I know it's a Bob Fosse film with a pretty good cast, but uh, yeah, Star 80. The two NES games that I picked up, Dig Dug 2, which is awesome to find. Uh, finally begged Hugo to sell this to me. <laughs> They sold it to me for like a buck fifty or something like that. And we've got Destination Earth Star, which probably isn't very good. Actually, I've played this back in the day on ROM, and uh, yeah, not very good. But I needed it for the NES collection, which I am on a quest. A 20-year-long quest so far to collect every single NES game. So, had to pick up Destination Earth Star. And at the Goodwill, I did pick up Hot Wheels Beat That by Activision. Um, these are fun, fun games, especially with more than, you know, one <laughs> one person. Uh, it's a fun co-op game, fun, fun competitive racer, and um, had to pick this up. It's missing the manual, but the disc is in good shape. Got it for 69 cents. Can't beat that. Also picked up The Witches, the book, which is, <laughs> which is a book that I never read as a kid, but I grew up watching the film, which freaked me out. And uh, definitely want to check out the book. He's such an excellent author. It doesn't matter what age you are. So, The Witches. And last but not least, at the Goodwill, I picked up Need for Speed Underground 2. Complete with the manual. In good shape. I don't own this currently. I used to play the hell out of this game. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Bet you it still holds up pretty damn well. Need for Speed Underground 2. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell for notifications. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Board Cyborg out.